When making changes to your course website, you might wonder, what does it look like from the student's perspective? That's easily answered. Click up here by your name in the top right corner and then click on View as Student. This takes you back to the start page of the course site, so you will also need to click on Content before you see that section of the course from the student's view. You now notice that all the editing buttons that you had as an instructor or TA disappear, leaving you with a clean view as a student. And when you're finished viewing a student, you can revert back to yourself. Here's an important distinction. Draft view versus published view with a date in the future. Items marked as draft in your instructor view are not visible to the student view at all. Students do not know that they exist. The draft setting applies not only to content, but also to modules and submodules. The content within a draft module is not displayed to students either. If you set a piece of content to be published, but change the release date to the future, students will see the name of the content, but they cannot access it yet. This can be used in a positive way. It gives learners a preview or a hint of what is to come without the actual content being revealed. While viewing your course in student mode, you can try out various student actions, such as uploading assignments, but these actions are temporary. You can also look at the gradebook from the student's perspective to ensure that you are giving all the information to help them understand how their grade is calculated. There is actually an easier way to do this, but that's covered in the videos on the gradebook.